everybody, Kiara here back with another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for the Nintendo Switch. Last time we left off, we entered... What is this place? Oh, Heart Home City? Okay, yeah. And we defeated Fantina. Completely forgot what we did last time, you guys. Until I remembered. We defeated Fantina. Alright, now our goal is to make our way to Canalave City for a gym battle? I'm not even sure. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and find the way there. So we are here. We need to go... Hold on, I'm gonna get there. Over here. <laughs> I, I completely forgot there's a flag on the map. Uh, we have to go way over here, so... I mean, we might as well fly, right? That makes the most sense. Why do we have to go to Cadillac City exactly? I don't even know. I always seem to forget what happens the episode before. It's just something that happens with me. Um, okay, we're here in Jubilife. Canalave is this way. I think. Route 218 up ahead is a great fishing hole that's almost unknown to people. Yes, sir, an old route is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go, that's my old rod. Oh, I, I never got a fishing rod yet, have I? You should fish wherever there is a body of water. Oh, and by the way, did you need any tips on using that fishing rod? First, you face any body of water, then you use your fishing rod. Next, you focus. If a Pokemon bites, an exclamation mark appears. That's your cue to reel it in. You're not going to tell me what button to reel it in with, no? Oh wow, this is some beautiful water. Oh god. What kind of area is this? I can't go anywhere. There's just this girl. Well, actually, yeah, I could use Surf, huh? I completely forgot I could use Surf. Um, okay. This girl. What's her deal? What is your deal? I asked my boyfriend to meet me here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. Okay, did you want help with that? Or what? Because, I don't know. That girl's just standing there with a wingle. And I'm just like, what is her deal? Oh wow, look. <laughs> a bee barrel? I, I'm, I'm surfing with the bee barrel. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. Why choose a bee barrel to surf? I mean, I could understand it's a water type, but yet, yeah, why not an actual, you know, Pokemon that looks like a water type? Like, you know, how about a, a Floatzel? No, not a Floatzel. My speed fell. How dare you. Oh wow. You couldn't land a critical hit earlier? A Gyarados, okay. I am ready for you. Level 31. I'm still like pretty high leveled compared to these trainers and stuff.
Nice. A critical hit, cool. Just do that two more times, Napoleon. Okay, now you should probably do that two more times. My defense fell, okay. Um, alright. We're almost there. We are getting there. I am not gonna switch my Pokemon, just cause... You guys, you guys know me. I don't like switching my Pokemon in battle, or using items on it. That is, uh, me. That is me. Missed. I don't know what that does, and I don't think it's an attack move. I believe it just lowers the accuracy of the opponent, I'm pretty sure. Because, I mean, if they can't see, obviously their accuracy would be off. Who are you? What? So my girlfriend's on the other side. You saved me. Thanks. Please take these. Any relationship is bound to run into troubles with them. If something goes wrong, don't panic. Just chill. I'll patiently wait for my girlfriend right here. So should I go tell her that you're waiting for her? Because, I mean, she's just waiting for you. <laughs> Let it rock. It's the rhythm of battle. Like I'm just saying. I've never been in a relationship before, but if I was, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure the boy should go meet with the girl. <laughs> Not the other way around. Don't have your girlfriend wait for you. I mean, come to you. You should go to her. I learned it from cartoons. <laughs> should definitely go to her. Uh, okay. An electric type, you say? I could handle that. Easy peasy. That was easy. Can you hear it? That's my guitar weeping. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. He's just like hugging his guitar. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lost. Oh, there's a Pokeball on that side. Hold on. Hold on. And I don't really care about those berries, so honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave them. Because berries really take a lot of my time. Just, you know. Oh, wow. I was right there! It's fine. I could catch this. And since I'm a water type, it should be pretty easy to lower its HP. 27. Not bad. Okay, I wish it could have been a little bit less. But it's fine. I could catch it. I have 98 Pokeballs. I completely forgot about that. In this game, I got, I got 100 Pokeballs, and I still haven't even used them all yet. Now I have 97. Ponyta is level 31. I believe Ponyta should be evolving sometime soon. I think it's like 33 that Ponyta evolves. Or 34. I'm not sure. I was literally right there. And then I had to run into a Pokemon. Hello. Get out of my way. There you go. You found a jar of honey. Outdoor fishing for the win. Shouting doesn't help my fishing any, but shout I must. Fisher Miguel. Of course, it has to be a Gyarados, huh? It has to be the water Pokemon with the best defense.
Nice. I don't know what that does to help me. Are water type attacks increased in the rain? Is their power better? I'm not sure. If only I could catch this Gyarados. Right now it's like at 2 HP left. Imagine I could just catch this Gyarados. Just be like, you're mine, Gyarados. I just steal his Pokemon. Another Gyarados. Okay, we're not going through that again, so... Uh... Yeah. See, this is the area where I really like, uh, where I don't mind switching Pokemon. I don't mind switching Pokemon when they say, would you like to switch your Pokemon? You know. And the reason being because if you just switch your Pokemon in the middle of a battle, the opponent gets the first attack when you come back. Like when you your second Pokemon comes out. And then they could kind of attack twice in a row, and I just don't like it. So, uh, yeah, that's why it's always better to just leave your Pokemon in, even though it might faint, just leave it in. I mean, you could heal it, of course. I mean, sometimes they heal mine. Sometimes. It's very rare. It's very rare that I will heal mine. But yeah, I just really don't like switching my Pokemon. Magikarp, okay. Alright, Magikarp. Magikarp is way easier to defeat than Gyarados. Way easier. You'd think he'd have some defense as well, but he doesn't really have that much defense. Badoo is level 32. Cool. A Gyarados, okay. I could handle that. Easily. You have three more Pokemon? I had a look at the top, seeing how many Pokemon he has. And it looks to be he has a total of five. Which is ridiculous. You have a lot of Pokemon. Magikarp. Okay. Another Magikarp. He really likes his Magikarp family. Another Magikarp. Cool.
Fisher Luke. Or is it luck? Fisher luck? You did not have good luck at all, my friend. Not at all. Another tentacle. Okay. You shall be my warm up. The sight of me made Empoleon feel secure. Cool. Okay. My defense harshly fell. But it won't matter. Because I am defeating you right now. Nice. Alright, let's go back over here. I don't really care about berries, so I'm just not gonna pay attention to them. <laughs> who the heck are you? You're a long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Lucas's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see, so I chose in the spot on a hunch that you passed through. I may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put in the software here? Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Hmm? It looks like your Pokedex doesn't need upgrading. It already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Okay. I could already tell the difference between female and male. Is that what he's saying? Gee, I sure am thirsty. Do you want a drink? Canalave City. Here we are, you guys. What's up? Your clothes look damp. Were you swimming at the beach right by Sand Gem Town? Swimming at the beach? I hear that there is a man who is very for forgetful here in Canalave City. He even makes Pokemon forget their moves. Canalave City Cargo Port. Somewhere beyond the sea. There are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. I know. Hello trainer, here are some things I found. They were mixed in with a load of cargo from another country. I can't use them, so I think you should take them. TM48s. You know Pokemon have their own abilities? Well, the move Skill Swaps exchanges the user's ability with that of its target Pokemon. How you use Skill Swap is a measure of your expertise as a trainer. Okay, I'm never going to use that. But, uh, thanks. Why am I going in here? Oh god. <laughs> They're all standing the same way, just creeping me out. A Pokemon that makes it easy to catch the same kinds of Pokemon? Well, that's the people. Okay, I understand. Okay, stop talking to the shelves. Okay, I don't want to talk to you either. I want to talk to you. Dude! Why can't I talk to you? <laughs> I wonder what I should buy for an outing to Iron Island? There's an island called Iron Island? Are you the move deleter? Um, who did you say I was again? <laughs> oh yes, I remember, yeah. I'm the move deleter. You've come to make me force Pokemon to forget some moves? Okay. I don't really need to do that right now, or ever, so um, I'll keep that in mind though. Welcome to Canalave, the canal, the canal city. In the old days, this port used to be a hub for cargo transportation. Okay, I found the Pokemon Center. The same kinds of Pokemon can sometimes have different abilities. Maybe I ought to raise two with different abilities. I can't use the hidden move strength from a Pokich until I beat Gym Leader Byron. I need strength. Remember I found some stuff in a cave that need pushing? So I could use strength. Uh, 
Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. My Psyduck is very smart. It could use a move Future Sight. Okay, that yeah, that is very smart. <laughs> That's a smart Psyduck. Harbor Inn. The text is too faded to read. Okay. The door is totally shut. Uh, t what? Okay. Totally shut. <laughs> it appears impossible to open. I wonder why. Could I go in that boat? No. Okay. Whoops! Oh, hey, Kiar. You're going to challenge the gym leader up ahead, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. And that someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Is it you, though? Should it be you? Staravia. Easy peasy. It's still not a Star Raptor, though. Come on, Barry. You could do better than that. How could you beat Fantina with a Staravia? Level 32. It uses Quick Claw. Okay. That won't really matter. Oh, except if you avoid it, then it will matter. Oh my god. Whoa. I guess I could kind of see why he might have beaten Fantina. I can't land a hit on him. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> he keeps using double team. It's gonna make it impossible to hit him. There you go. You can't escape the whirlpool. Just keep using double team, I'm fine with that. Just use that and never attack me. Cause the whirlpool will attack you. <laughs> Across. Cool. Uh, I had never bottled a Heracross before. Why did I use that attack though? Sorry guys, I was not thinking. I was not thinking. Heracross is a bug type. So obviously, I need to use a flying type. I was just not thinking, like, at all. Level 32. You have a Buizel? It's not even a Floatzel yet? And it's at level 33? Okay, how is, how is that even possible? Did you just not want it to evolve or something? Oh, that was cute. <laughs> that was so cute. How to use Tail Whip. That was adorable. Okay, I'm fine with Ponyta. You're level 34 and you're not evolved. Okay, I think Barry seriously just does not want to evolve his Pokemon. I could have sworn Ponyta is supposed to evolve like at 33 or 34. Oh my god, we are really having a full on battle here. We've gotten out of tighter spots than this plenty of times before. We are really like. Having a full on battle here. He is sending all his five Pokemon. Uh, 
Okay. So those should only take effect if I switch my Pokemon. Which I'm not gonna. I am totally not gonna do that. Because you seem to still not be attacking me, really. Except slightly with that leaf seed. But that's not really a big attack. Even though you did heal a lot. Okay, now you're attacking me. Alright, for this battle only, I'm going to switch. This is an important battle. It is an important battle. Barry needs to learn his lesson for challenging me. Okay, uh, the game just needs to fix that, you guys. Did you see what happened? I took damage even though I'm flying above the stones. I feel like they should seriously change that in Pokemon. Even though you're flying, you know, you should not get attacked by those stones. You just shouldn't. We're not done yet, neither me nor Pokemon has given up. Okay, suit yourself. And you said you're not done yet. You still don't have a Torterra yet. Are you kidding me, Barry? Are you kidding me here? What just happened? You're telling me I lost? I am. I am telling you that. I, okay, I, get, I deserve more money than that. <laughs> just gonna be begging for money now. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's going to be me. Anyways, you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Now hurry up and get to it. I will do that. Can I leave library? They have a library? Hello, this is the Canlave Library. Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. What is it? Please don't disturb me while I'm reading. Okay, this is a nice looking library. The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. Okay. Could I read some books? Okay. <laughs> Someone's always checked out the book I want to read. You should do something about that. Every book contains someone's memories of various places and times. Libraries aren't just buildings where books are kept, you know. They're where different places and times are gathered together. Good to know. Many books and myths on the myths and legends of the Sinnoh region. Sinnoh region's mythology, would you like to read it? Sure. Long ago, when Sinnoh has, had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass. Cool. I'm learning something. Could I enter this boat? No? I'm going to study at the library. Aren't books just lovely? I love how reading takes me to places far away in time and space. My brilliant instinct tells me that there is a secret path somewhere in the city and there is treasure beyond that path. Ooh, a secret. Ooh. 
Can I leave the dock? Do you want to set sail? Oh, I could go to Iron Island. Okay, you just tell me whenever you need to set sail. So I guess we'll probably be doing that after the gym battle, huh? Our boy has too much energy. I wish he'd be a little quieter. I'm going to be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but a gym leader would be cool too. Byron is awesome. <laughs> yep, he has too much energy. Sailor Eldritch's house. <laughs> house. Eldritch? Who is Eldritch? Uh, no one is in here. Okay. Maybe that's where the secret path is. The gym leader and trainers of this gym often go out to Iron Island. They not only train their Pokemon there, but work out as well. As well. Alright guys, that's been this episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, next time we will obviously take on the gym leader. And then probably next, next time we'll head to Iron Island. There's a Pokeball over there, you guys. How do I get there? How do I get there? I could surf on that water. What is the point of that? Doesn't look like there's a point to it, except finding Pokemon. Anyways, you guys, next time we'll check on the gym leader. I believe he used a steel type Pokemon trainer, right? From the anime, I could remember he's a steel type, I think. Anyways, we'll take on Byron next time, and I'll see you guys then.